new video ordering fractions with same numerator dun 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 everybody has a hard time with ordering fractions everyone I know has had a hard time so hopefully these videos will kind of give us an, a better understanding and help us to practice practice them because it is on your extra credit homework so hopefully this will help you get your homework correct so let's take a look at it here we need a couple of fractions our fractions are 2 6, 2 fifths, and 2 eighths. Notice they all have the same numerator. 2, 2, 2. All of them have a numerator of 2. Well, we remember that when our numerators are the same, we have to look at the denominators to find out which one is least or which one is greatest. So I have a 6, a 5, and an 8. So we're not going to look at the numerators anymore. We're going to look at the denominators. Okay, we remember that there are several different ways to answer this question. Well, we could draw a picture. We could think about it. Okay, those are two different strategies that we could use. Drawing pictures are sometimes hard. So the strategy that I always like to use that helps me the most is thinking about my denominator. And we've talked about this over and over again. The bigger my denominator means that it has small pieces. Okay? The bigger denominator has small pieces. And the small denominators have bigger pieces. Okay? So thinking about that, we're first going to go from order from greatest to least. Okay? So we're trying to find the, p the fraction has the greatest amount shaded in. Well, in order to find the greatest amount shaded in, I need to find the one that has the, the greatest size pieces. The greatest size pieces. Well, we remember A is, just, is big, so that means it has small pieces. Fives is small, so that means it has bigger pieces, and six is in the middle. So that means that two-fifths is going to be my greatest fraction. Okay? Because it has a small denominator, means it has bigger pieces. Okay? So then what's the next biggest fraction? 2 6 Okay? And then, of course, my smallest pieces are 2 8 Of course, we need our greater than, less than signs. Every time, this says 2 fifths is greater than 2 sixths and 2 sixths is greater than 2 eighths. So we just put our fractions in order from greatest to least. Well, what if the question asks the opposite? What if it asks us to go in order from least to greatest? Well, we've already done most of the work. We just have to flip it. Well, Least, smallest, which one has the smallest pieces? Eighths, fifths, or sixths? I hope you said eighths. Two eighths is the smallest. What's the medium size? Two sixths. And what is our largest pieces? Two fifths. Now we have to do our greater than, less than signs. Remember, alligator eats the bigger fraction. 2 eighths is less than 2 sixths. And 2 sixths is less than 2 fifths. Okay? Always remember, when my numerators are the same, I have to look at the denominators. The denominators are going to show me which one is the largest and which one is the smallest. Remembering that the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fractions, the smaller the pieces. The smaller the number, the bigger the pieces. Okay? So if, the, if you're still having a little bit of trouble, go back and watch the video again. Try a problem. Take it slow. And practice, practice, practice. The only way to get better is to practice. Good luck, guys.